Okay, I am now recording. So, who am I talking with today? Samuel. Okay, uh, Sam, how long have you been playing COD Mobile? Four months. Okay, how long have you been sniping for? for like about three or four weeks. Okay, that sounds good. That's, uh, that's a good starting point. Got some experience under your belt. Well, today, I'm going to show you some of the errors that you've made, some of the, the good things that you did in your gameplay. I'm here to critique all of it, analyze all of it, and try my best. Okay, let's get started. Quality is not the best, but let's see what we can do with it. Yeah, that probably sucks. Okay, good, good. Hmm. Okay, so right here, you kind of just went out in the open. You didn't check uh, what was over there. Uh, I would do a quick sweep yeah. around, make sure he's not hiding anywhere. Also, check left to where that buggy is over there. I want to check everywhere. You yeah. didn't, didn't see that he was right behind the car. Just be careful. Once again, you're not checking. Okay. So you slow, you slid around too much. You see that? You saw how you... Yeah, you did it too much, so you could not run anymore. You lost all your momentum. I wouldn't try to do too much sliding when you're close up right that. I would try to walk around somehow. So once again, you're not checking. You always gotta check. You can't just go out there. Yeah. So he's already hard scoping you, and I understand that's not a good thing to do. But because you decided to go that way and not check your corners, he got an easy hard scope. He could have missed that. Nice. I would also check there and try to quick scope that. Don't hard scope. He could have got you quicker. If he was a better player, he could have got you ten times faster. Don't hard scope. So, what you could have done is about when you're right here, you have plenty of time to go in certain spots. You could have either go around, since he is coming this way, he's kind of going this way behind the sign. You can go right around yeah. the car, or you can go all the way back into this little the bus, or you can just go straight up to his face for a no scope. There's plenty of ways you could have went to him, and it just makes it seem like you're the one camping. You're still right here. You know, he already knows where you are. He just has to make a few adjustments and shoot you. It's simple as that. So just make sure you move around. You cannot stay in one spot. Well done. Yeah, I'd say just try to focus on what he's trying to do. It's a very close, fast game. Don't try to be too close to somebody. They're going to be able to outmove you. They're gonna make you go to places like that. You kind of stood still at that moment he killed you. And that's why he got you. Just make sure yeah. you move around. Never do that.
Yeah, so you never want to keep spraying like that. Never want to just keep firing, wasting bullets, you're about to reload. Be smart with all your bullets. See, I like how you, I like yeah. how you didn't shoot at first. Right there, I like how you didn't shoot, but then you just kept shooting. If you're not gonna hit them, then don't shoot. You gotta make sure you get a clear shot. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't hard scope. Don't ever hard scope. So you kind of went into his trap. The only possible place he can come from is right there. He's obviously going to come out in front of you. So what do you do? You have to either just zigzag, try to move around. You're, you're in a very tight spot. You can only go from this greenhouse to that fence. You don't have many choices. You can go to prone. That's something I would do. But you were just easily predictable. Anybody could just jump out from that very wall and easily clap you. I'm not sure what you were looking at. Think you were looking right or something? Let's try to focus. If you hear a gunshot or something, you see something, just look where you saw it or heard it. So, I would not try to rush that. Not so soon. He's right behind the car, and he has the advantage, even though he jumps out and you could get him quicker, but... You kind of just didn't play it safe. You have to make sure that you choose a strategy to go after him when he's behind an object. So if he's head glitching behind the car, you can't just rush in like that. You just went to the side. I would try to go in the bus. I could go to the edge of the bus. Well, let me show it. So I could either... I can go right yeah. here. Or I can go in the little area inside the truck, but just don't run out there like that. Okay. Okay, there's so many things wrong with this one. So first... So it's going to take time to master that, but if you're going to try to shoot anybody off of a balcony or whenever they jump, you just need to make sure you're going to hit them if you do that, or at least get a hit marker. Just don't do that if you know you can't hit them. Just don't hope that you can hit them. Okay, so you sort of just crouch right there. Um, you don't want to do that. You don't want to ever just crouch. That's after the snipers were nerfed, like they did something with crouch, you can't move around quick anymore. You don't want to do that. You want to either, if you're going to go in prone, go in prone. But if you're going to move around, yeah. do not crouch. Just make sure you move around. Like, you're still in the same spot. Okay. So you know he saw you going that way, like he saw you, and he shot there, he missed. What you could have done is went inside the truck, and just bam, you jump out, you shoot him. But instead you went back out. Now he could have, he could have got you right there. He, anybody that's good could have gotten you again when you decided to stay there for like a split second, and decided to go back. Because they would think that you're going back, and they would have killed you. Oh, he did. See? Don't do that. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Oh, that was your chance. 
Okay, good. Oh, could have just stayed there. Oh, you see, that's why he died again, because you crouched. If you were going to go back in, don't go out too far. Gotta stop hesitating. Wait, did you see him? <laughs> Seems like you ignored him. Uh. Oh, he outplayed you. <laughs> he outplayed you pretty well right here. <laughs> he got you good, yep. You should have killed. You should. You should have did something. You can't just just ignore him. He's right there. Just might as well do something. Okay, so since you tried to hard scope, you missed. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. Ah, uh, look at him cheat. <laughs> So right there, that could have been a kill. Yeah. Um, what happens? Okay, you get it, yeah. That's something I would do. Slide behind him. Don't overdo it. Once again, don't hard scope. I'm gonna keep saying that. Don't know why you guys do that. Cod Mobile. Oh, could I had him? Great. So first of all, you were already predictable. Look at that. Mm. So where did things go exactly wrong? It's when you get back to where you started. So when you're running around, you can go right here. Anywhere over here on this very map, you can go right there. And just stand there. Don't camp, but you can just go over there, be defensive for a bit, and try to kill him too. So he's gonna see you, but you can still get the advantage if he misses. There you go, doing it again. Doing that crouching shit. Don't do it. Don't crouch. Yeah, they're gonna the slide. Part the, the thing is, I try to slide, but it crouches instead. I don't so know why it does it. You will have to... Uh, you'll just have to get used to um, sliding. Uh, you, yeah. There's no, There's nothing preventing you from sliding. It's all in... You gotta move forward to slide. You can't just stand still and slide. Well done. Oh, I see you trying to spawn trap. Mm. So there's some good kills. Good job on checking corners. Oh, that was your chance. That was your chance. Right there. That was your chance. Also, if you have time, you gotta reload. My guess is he probably was sound whoring. Yeah, I would try to go in here. If you can, otherwise, just try to zigzag. Uh, try to go prone as well. Just do some. Just don't run out like that. Okay, so <laughs> he's 
you clearly see him. You got you got like a split second to see him. You should not run back. He he can easily kill you. If you're waiting for him. Yeah, I see what you were trying to do, but that's too risky. Like that's very risky. Just don't do that ever. Don't run in a straight line either. If you're going to do that, then try to zigzag or be unpredictable with whatever you're trying to do. Slide out of the way. Try something. Okay. I think I know why your, your scope is doing that. Because you have to... Why? I'm not sure what the setting is, but it's probably because you have that, you don't have something turned on for it to, when you scope in and let go, that's how you scope in and you scope out. But what you have is it scopes in and it just stays there. I know what that, I know what the setting is, I don't know the name of it, but when, next time you get on, try to play around with the ADS for the scope and make sure it's that same uh, the scoping button. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I had that problem when I was on an iPhone 6. That's why I used to scope in a lot. Once again, you're hard scoping. And if you can't kill him from there, then don't shoot him. Try to do something else, you're far away. Stop hoping that you're gonna kill somebody. Don't ever follow somebody like that. If this was somebody good, they would have, they would have came out, they would have came out and jumped across and easily kill you. If that was somebody good, somebody smart, or they could have just went around the crate. Yep, settings are getting you killed. It's not him killing you, it's your settings killing you. Okay, so the problem is, you went right back in that little walkway when you shouldn't have that's uh that's a sign of hesitation if you weren't sure where he was going to turn do you have to check every corner you have to run to different spots don't stay in the same area because once again there there shouldn't be any radar on you shouldn't be firing if you don't see him if you're not sure just run somewhere but be smart about it check your corners uh, make sure you're checking your back. So right there, make sure you look right, and make sure there's nobody following you. So maybe stand there for a few seconds. It's not camping, just stand there. Um, yeah, you decided to win back, and he was already making his move. He was already going, but right behind your ass, and he got you because of that. You're sliding too fast again. Yeah, don't do that. Also... Let me see, did you notice him? Yes, you did. So, once again, you still have this thing right here. You got the... You got this. Gotta use it. It's there for a reason, to take cover. You could go behind there, or you can go right here, maybe prone, maybe uh, just wait there, don't, don't crouch like you did, just sit right there. Uh, maybe you can go forward as he is coming right over here. As he's, as he's approaching you, maybe you can try to go around him. There's so many ways to easily kill him right here. 
Yeah. You gotta understand every situation when it comes to these gunfights. <gasps> and don't rapidly shoot like that. Okay, so you did have a chance. I was just wondering if you saw him or not, and you did. He saw you. He doesn't know what's going to happen. Are you going to pop right back out? Or are you going to go around? He already knows, and he only has to stay right there. So what should you have done was attempt to kill him right there. He's not behind anything. Maybe he could go back to cover. You still have a chance. So he's, he knows where you are. I don't know how he knows. He's either sound whoring or using that little radar. But. Yeah, you gotta really time your shots here. He was already ahead of you. <laughs> he already knew where he was going. Just be wise with every bullet you have. Gotta understand every situation. It's been a long journey for me. I've been playing this since September of 19 when it came out. And I wanted to become a very top level sniper. I wanted to become a professional sniper. I wanted to play for a leaderboard. And I did just that. Took me a while to get to that level of playing for a league and a leaderboard. I was able to participate in a tournament for that leaderboard. And I didn't do so well. Lost in first round. I was playing on an iPhone 6 at that time. And um, from uh, September 19 all the way until around March of 20, I got an iPhone 11. And then I improved myself by doing the things I showed you, uh, being unpredictable, being smart, being accurate. And I'd like to ask, uh, what device do you play on? iPhone 11. Okay. Well, that's kind of funny how your recording was like that. <laughs> but Yeah, I don't know why it was like that. It was bad. Yeah, so Sam says he plays on an iPhone 11, just like me. It was a big transition. I got so good when I went to a bigger device, and I felt like th well, that was one of the reasons why I hit my prime faster. You know, I've already had experience beforehand, and I was already winning these games, these competitive games. I would, This was before Gunsmith made me worse. And the gunsmith update pretty much ruined everybody at some point. It ruined, it ruined every person's sniping abilities. And the gunsmith came out in like August, I think, of 20. August 2020. So I was good before that. So that's sort of how I yes. came to grew in this. I also played online a lot. I always played ranked. I played all game modes and just play one game mode, even search. I also went into global chat, just one v one people. I don't I didn't do that always, but I went into the global chats, just say one v one snipers, then set up a game and uh, set up whatever map. He usually did Nuketown because that's all COD mobile snipers are good at. And they don't even they don't even know how to play Nuketown. I always try to do different maps. I always try to do Cage. I try to do Kill House. I try to do Rust. Shipment. You gotta expand your, your arsenal there. You gotta you can't just do the same map. That can be your best map. But you cannot just do Shipment. You can't just do Nuketown. You gotta do all maps. If you're willing to go that far, you'll become good at all the maps. And it's not just for 1v1ing and sniping. You can also get good at public matches, ranked. This, the stuff I showed you can also correlate into those as well. You know, going behind somebody that's just rapidly spraying guns. 
that can help. I feel like you need to watch uh, some more of my videos, because remember that you got you got to do things differently now. You can't do the same yeah. things you've been doing. What we saw in your gameplay, that's got to change. Your settings are the biggest issue, and I think if you change them, get used to them, then you'll be in the right direction. It's a good way to get started. And I'd like to also mention it took me, I don't know how many months, from September 2019 all the way until February 2020. It took me that long to get good. It took me that long. It took me that long to understand all this stuff. I knew it. I wasn't the best. But I kept going. I kept working hard. And I wanted it more than anybody. I, I, it's not like I went undefeated. I didn't go undefeated. I lost games. I didn't quit because of that. I lost games. Yeah. But kept going. Got to pick yourself up. You got to understand what's going on. Got to. You got to look back at your film. Start recording games. Got to look at your own film. I can't always be there. I won't be there after the twentieth. And play people. Play people yeah. that are better than you. Don't just play. Anybody play people that want to play if they're gonna quit well go back to the main lobby play somebody else Doesn't matter what their rank is if they hard scope you if they cheat they use radars and sensors They if they do all that yeah. well, Keep playing them if they're gonna hard scope you on kill house like I've been hard scoped on kill house I lost games because of that and the kids are like 10 years old and I still lost doesn't matter who cares keep going gotta keep playing if you want if you really want to get good like i am because i've been doing this not every day but almost every day you know, i don't play actively anymore if you gotta you gotta put your head in the game i tend to like play um ranked legendary players so i can get more experience with them since they're they're more experienced than me nah that doesn't matter or some. You, you don't need to do that you don't have to play with anybody just play by yourself and who cares if you win the rank game or if you lose the rank game? If you care about sniping, you get good at sniping. You don't get good at your rank. You get good at sniping. You want to improve yourself. Who cares who you're playing with? Actually, that's a good thing. Make it harder for yourself. Ask for the challenge. You want to play alone. You want to play against teams that will beat you and make you learn. You want to play with a bad team. You don't need to play with anybody. Who cares what ranks are? Ranks don't matter in this game. Don't be deceived. Legendary, rookie, don't matter. And I'm just talking about sniping. one v winning's a whole different concept. I could go on all day about one v winning, but just know that snipers are... The snipers of COD Mobile are a different breed than the ones I went through back like five years ago. <laughs> They're different now. And after you play for a long time, two years is not really that long. Once you play for a long time, you'll understand everything. You'll adapt over time. I bet in a month from now, you'll be, you'll be ten times better than you are this very second. Yeah. Hopefully. No, there's no hopefully. <laughs> there's no hopefully. You will be better. You better be better. I need you to try. I haven't seen a single sniper has done the same things I've done. They all look the same. I look unique. That's why I win my games. That's why I don't move around like they do. You can slide. You can prone. Don't crouch. You can jump. Yeah, I need to work. Uh, I need to work at the crouch because... When I crouch, it's because when I'm trying to slide, but it crouches instead. Well, you gotta fix that. Yeah. You have to experiment with your settings. Understand that you gotta, you gotta analyze the situation. You know, know what's going on. If you cannot shoot them, don't shoot. If you can't get a clear shot, don't try to don't. shoot them. Yeah. Yeah. But don't stand still. Move around. Don't have to do all the extra sliding shit like they do. Just move back a few steps, and there you go. Use your surroundings as well. They're there for a reason. It's 
Uh, it goes for every map. They have some for you to hide behind. But don't camp if you don't have to. Don't hardscope. Never hardscope. But you're trying to snipe. You're trying to get better at that. You're trying to quickscope. You're trying to do all the crazy shit that you see on YouTube. You don't have to be like that. <laughs> don't have to. I don't do that. I still get kills. I didn't have to copy anybody. So just remember that. Don't give up. Yeah. It's the most important thing. I also have a question. Yes. I'm using the I'm using the DOQ with no attachments. Does that help? For COD Mobile, that will not help. That will make the process longer. Mm. That'll take too much time. Because when you start to develop new capabilities and more game sense, you're gonna put on these attachments later on because you'll have no choice. And it's gonna also make your gun worse if you don't put attachments on. It'll make you worse. The gun makes you worse in this game. If you don't have attachments, you're bad. It'll, it'll make your damage, your accuracy, your mobility, it'll make it all go down. So yeah. you wanna make sure you have attachments. You have no choice. Gunsmith is the reason for that. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've never seen anybody not use attachments. And actually snipe. I've been to people with no attachments. Later when you find the top snipers on the game, <laughs> you won't be beating yeah, no them without, not. yeah. Be impossible. Yeah. Maybe if it was before the gunsmith, then yes. But, nah. Yeah.